What is a keyword? Keywords are very important. They will help you unlock or understand what the question is asking. They might even help you find the answer. What four keywords are we looking for? One, we would be looking for paragraph or line numbers. Two, character names. Three, literary terms. Four, word of the week or a synonym of the word of the week. Let's look closer. When we think about paragraphs or line numbers, if the question asks you to look at a certain spot in the text, that means the answer is going to be there. Sometimes the distractor choices will have a true statement in them, but if the true statement comes from another part of the text, that answer choice is wrong. You must go back and reread the paragraph or line mentioned in the question if you want to get a question right that has a paragraph or line number. So here's an example. Which words from paragraph 7 best help the reader understand the use of the word arresting? So as a student, you would need to go back to paragraph 7 and reread that to be able to answer this question. Character names. If the question mentions a character, that's important. Sometimes the distractor will make a true statement about a different character than the one mentioned in the question. That's usually the wrong choice, so you have to be really careful. Make sure your answer choice is about the same character that's being asked about in the question. Here's a sample. What do the daughter in Sunday morning early and Marge in I wish I was a poet have in common? So you would have to figure out what is true for the daughter in the first poem and for Marge in the second poem to be able to figure out the correct answer. Literary terms. Things like mood, stanza, figurative language, and imagery. Those vocabulary words that you've been hearing about ever since kindergarten. Here's an example. A question that has literary term. The mood of both selections is and then it lists different moods you can choose from. You might also be looking for a word of the week or a synonym. The word of the week or a synonym for the word of the week is always a key word. The word of the week is going to tell you what kind of thinking you need to do to answer the question. So let's do one together. Harry's thoughts in paragraph one show Harry is a character and there's a paragraph number. So these are the, the key words in this question stem. Harry's thoughts in paragraph one show. You could also circle thoughts if you wanted to because that's telling the reader what specifically about Harry is important to answer the question. However, once you circle all the words in a question stem, then we're not really finding the key words. The key words are the most, most important ones. So let's think about the next one, either with a partner or on your own. Read these sentences from paragraph three. The figurative language in these sentences emphasizes. So think about what in this sentence might be a key word. So we did have a paragraph number in here. And then we also had a literary term, figurative language. What about this one? The imagery in stanzas one and two suggests, so what in this question stem might be a key word that we would want you to circle? Imagery, because it is a literary term, and then stanzas one and two are locations. For this one, which one of these best describes Ron's internal conflict in the story? So go ahead and think that through. What are the key words in this sentence? 